Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Let's model this twisted connector piece with on shape. It's a great exercise for the bridging curve and the fill command. So let's start in an empty part studio. I'll take the sketch command, select the top plane, press N for a normal view to that. P, hide all planes. Start with a construction line here, and then a circle. Give that circle a dimension of 18. Um, then give that a um, Continue with the line command. Go over here. Take that arc command. And finish with that line. Make those coincident with I, those two centers. Give that arc a dimension of 25 millimeter radius. Then um, that straight part, dimension of 24. And from that origin to that line, dimension of 30. All right. So, okay. And um, with O, no, with um, T, I go into the tangent and take those two, okay, and with H I make that a uh, horizontal line, all right, that's it. With Shift E, um, we make a solid um, extrude of um, 12 millimeters, make that symmetric, Okay, we got our first part. I'll change the color a bit, make it a little darker here. And then let's um, mirror that, part mirror, over that um, right plane. Show sketch one and make a transform of that body rotate it around that axis by 90 degrees. All right, we can hide that sketch. And now let's connect those um, points. So this vertex needs to be connected to here. So let's take that um, Bridging curve command, start here, match tangent, okay, we got to indicate which tangency, that one, that line, and it ends over there, again, with a match tangent, over here, we got the first one, I'll leave everything at the default, accept that, and repeat that, with that point, that line, that point, that one, all right. Let's rotate our body here and do the between that point, that one, and that line till here till and that one, all right. And one last time, here till here. All right. So now let's connect those curves with a surface command, and that is the fill. So let's pick those 
four edges here. Got the first one. Continue here. I'll go clockwise. Oh, well, first pick the command. Take the edge. There it is. One more time here. That edge, that one, that one, and that one. One more time. That edge, that one, that one, that one here, and that one. Great. We got one surface, all right. So now let's make that a solid. So we need to select the six outer surfaces of that body. So I'll hide part one for the selection process. Go into and close. Take one, two, three, four. Look inside, take that one. And now I'll switch, I'll hide that one, show that one, turn that around, and take that one. And we want to keep the tools. The tools are the outer bodies, although we don't need that um, surface. Okay, we got three individual parts, and let's um, unite those. This time, we don't need to keep the tools. And, well, we're almost finished with our twisted connector piece. But we could, just for looks... Add a chamfer, take that edge, click on the cylindrical face so you have both um, sides selected. One millimeter looks fine, and maybe give that um, chamfer an individual look, and hide our curves here. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it inspiring. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting CAD tutorials. Thanks for joining me today and until next time, keep modeling.